Hey everyone, it's uh, Steve Smith. Alright, today I'm going to show you how to do this um, gun shooting tutorial requested by um, Josh Tread. He particularly wants to know how to get the bullet shooting out, so I thought I'd do the rest as well while I was at it. Alright, it's a nice effect, just adds a little bit extra to your um, gunshots. Alright, let's get started. Alright, first got to uh, drag and drop your uh, footage into a new composition. Alright, there's mine. We'll just cut this down to size because I was asking my cameraman if it was filming. Alright. That'll do. First thing to, uh, is to drag your muzzle flashes in. Alright, all these are from detonationfilms.com. I'm using all the free ones so you can uh, all do it at home. They don't have to pay out any extra. As long as you've got After Effects. You can also try and do this in other uh, visual effects programs like um, Vision Lab if you've got that. Or may you might be able to do it in Final Cut Pro or something like that, I'm not sure. Alright, you've got to cut, cut down the footage otherwise the muzzle flashes will keep shooting off when you don't want them to. Uh, painstaking process. Gotta get rid of all the smoke to there. Right. <clears throat> Next, you want to right click on the muzzle flashes, blender mode, and screen. Right, then click W on your, on your PC keyboard. Not sure what that is with Mac, or just click up there. Right, and you spin it around to fit your footage. Right, so. Be helpful if you see it, right? The next step is to duplicate your footage, just like that, and make it one frame, which is the frame where you want your muzzle flash. Like that. Here comes the fun part, right? Using your pen tool up here, make a basic barrel shape. Just really basic. You can even mess with that if you need to. Make it a bit bigger. Then you just simply move it back like that. But of course, you can't just leave it like that. So, if you go into the masks, right, and just feather it. So, however, however much you need it. Right, that might be alright. Yeah, that's fine. As you can see, it just gives it that little extra boost. And because it's only one frame, it looks like it shoots back. Very good, I reckon. Oh, forgot to cut that bit out. Right, then what you need to do is download uh, some stock fo stock footage from detonationfilms.com again. This is called Brass Winchester. Right, then we need to scale it down to size. Now I know this bullet's for a rifle. But we're on a budget, and um, when it's small and moving fast, you can't tell, so might as well just use it. So you get it to about the right size. You'll never get it perfect, but that'll do. Right, then you need to line it up with the frame after your muzzle flash. Right, so as I got the muzzle flash. There it is. Right, so one frame after. Move it up, put it to there. Right, then you go to your transform and click the stopwatch up for the position. Right, then you move a few seconds. I'll just have it till there. And you move it all the way down, out of frame. So then this makes the bullet goes go down. And you can mess with this if it's too fast or too slow. I'm just going to slow it down a bit. Let's have a look. That looks fine. And you can also make it like bend as well, if there's like a little gust of wind or something, I don't know. 
you make them like go outwards or something as well. Right, such a basic thing. Right, you also might want to add a bit of uh, motion blur. Blow and sharpen. Motion, uh, directional, sorry. Yeah. I'll just have that like that. That'll do. Right, and um, as you can see, the footage is quite red, so I'm gonna uh, change that to a bit uh, to make the bullet fit in a bit more. Color action, color balance. I'm just gonna turn the highlight reds up a bit because they're quite high. Um, just mid tone slightly. Right, as you can see, the bullet fits in a bit more. Looks like it belongs in the footage. Right, let's have a quick look at that. You can also add things like lighten, which I'll save for another tutorial. You can also add um, motion blur on your uh, barrel, Oop, not radio blur, sorry, directional. Right. Just line that up right. That'll do. And then you get your basic shot done. Well, a bit better than basic. And then you just need to do that a few times over, but you can just duplicate it over and over again, and it'll work perfectly. And um, what you can also do to make it look a bit better is uh, pre-compose it all. Like uh, pre-compose, save that. All right. And uh, if you got some great uh, grade it a bit, I'm just going to use one of these. No, not that one. You can uh, buy these from videocopilot.net. Also, um, even digital do their own version of this. It's also good. Just hit pale freeze. That'll do. And you can also make it widescreen or whatever by just going like that. Oop, no, not like that. They go like that. And you've got your. A nice little shot there. Alright, hope you enjoyed the tutorial. And uh, if anyone else needs any more tutorials with After Effects or Sony Vegas or, so, or something, just email us at rivington.film at hotmail.com. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.